a lot even off camera. Bye. Because I've been on camera. Ooh. In general. Let's just buy. You're doing a lot. Are you recording? These glasses yes, it's are recording. Really They're okay, not. Okay, okay. All right. You're prescribed. <laughs> Don't let me have the blue light. <laughs> what did he just call me? I said or. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 My nickname is Asia. I make lifestyle, fashion, and advice videos on my channel. And today I'm here with some friends and we're gonna be filming a how we got into Howard video. First, we're gonna start with our Howard intros. I'm gonna go first and then it's gonna go like that. So, hi, my name is Daeja. I'm a freshman honors finance major from Detroit, Michigan. Hi, my name is Layla. I'm a freshman biology major, chemistry minor from Chesapeake, Virginia. Hi, my name is Matthew Shege. I'm a freshman <laughs> computer information systems major from Lowell, Massachusetts. Hello, my name is Ryan Harris. I'm a freshman international business major from Oakland, California. Hey, my name is Tilly Gashow. I'm a sophomore accounting major from Aurora, Colorado. Hi, my name is Adore Williams. I'm a freshman honors computer information systems major from Chesapeake, Virginia. Okay, now we're just going to start. We're just going to get right into it. Our stats. So we're going to do GPA, class rank, if you apply a test option or not, and if you didn't, your test score, and that's it and say which test you took. So, I had a 4.0 unweighted, because we didn't have weighted. I was number one, and I applied with my test scores, and I got, uh, I did the SAT, and I got an 1180. Okay, Miss Bella Victoria. <laughs> um, I had a 4.2 GPA, I was 53 out of 470. I took the SAT, but I applied test optional. Um, I had a 4.49 weighted. I didn't know my class rank. Well, they put um, like the percentage, like what percentage you were. So I was top 10% within my class and I did not take the SAT, SAT or ACT. So that was test optional. Um, I had a 3.3 .3 GPA and I was test optional. Um, I think I had a 3.8, 3.7 unweighted GPA with a 4.4 .4 weighted GPA. Um, I took both the ACT and SAT. I got a 30 on the ACT and a 13.20 on the SAT. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I, I, <laughs> out of 4.01 GPA, I was 67 out of 471 students. And thank God the SAT got canceled because of COVID, so I was TEPS optional. Okay. <laughs> I had to reapply, like, oh, reschedule like four times. I didn't say my Same. class rank. Four okay, say so your class rank. Oh, my class rank was 47 out of 560. Okay. okay. That's a big class. 560. My class was um, 750 Dang. something. <laughs> Next <laughs> is. What did I say? Are you working okay. on iPads? Yeah, I did. <laughs> She got to ask so, AP, IB, or honors courses, and then we're just going to talk about that. I can go really quick. Oh, and your scores, if you did the test. Oh. So, for me, my school didn't have any AP classes, no IB courses, so I didn't take any. And for honors courses, we only had one honors course in the whole school, which was math. Yeah, I know. And it was math, and I took <laughs> honors math, so that's it. I didn't take any AP or uh, IB classes. I just took honors, and then I took dual enrollment for English. Um, I took three AP courses. I took A Push, AP Psych, and AP Lit. On AP Psych, I got a four. A Push, I got a one because I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and AP Lit, I didn't take that test because I didn't care once again. And then I also took um, dual enrollment life science. Um, so I took AP World History. I got a three on that. I took AP Environmental Science. I got a three on that. And then I took AP Six, <coughs> and I didn't take that one. And then I also took pre-calculus, which in my school is honors. Mm. Um, we saying honors courses too? Yeah. I mean, technically. Shit, all my classes are honors. honors. So just technically, just you took honors. Just okay. Just like yeah. just honors. Yeah, okay. um, for me, I took AP Human Geo. I got a four on that. I took AP Bio. Did not care for the exam. Got a one on that. <laughs> I took AP Calc. Got a four on that. And then my school specializing in like concurrent enrollment. So I took a bunch of concurrent enrollment, um, like English composition, stats. 
algebra. It's a lot of a lot of concurrent enrollments. Is that like community? Is that like <coughs> going on there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I took honors like general ed classes. I didn't take any IB. I did took I did take four mm -hmm. AP classes. <laughs> I did take four <laughs> AP classes. I took AP US History. I got a two. I took AP Bio. <laughs> I got a three in AP Bio. I got a no. I take it back. I got a three. I got a three in AP US History, and I got a three in AP Bio. I got a two in AP Art History, and I got a one in AP US Wait, AP Euro. AP Art History. I was gonna AP? take AP. Art yeah, history. but okay. I got an A in the class. The AP exam is way different than the class. So, AP or dual enrollment? Dual enrollment. Dual enrollment. Dual enrollment. Okay, I would say dual enrollment, dual enrollment too. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 you don't got to take the test. Yeah. yeah. And, and then cool. figure out whether the I would take it. Yeah, like AP, technically a three is a passing, but a lot of schools, especially here at Howard, they don't really take threes. They take usually four or fives. Oh, nice. yeah. So, do dual Thanks. enrollment. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, now we're going to talk about extracurriculars. Dang, I'm, I didn't think about this. <clears throat> extracurricular, yeah, somebody else go first. And so like, your leadership positions, if in them, if you have them. Okay. okay. Um, I did field hockey my first year <laughs> of high school, and I was in JROTC for all four years. I was squadron commander, public affairs officer, drill team commander. Um, <laughs> flight commander, and I led a team at States. Okay. Uh, I also did uh, JROTC, and I was a non-commissioned officer in charge my sophomore year, junior year as a flight commander, and then senior year I was a squadron commander, and I was also vice president of my Black Unity Club, my high school's Black Unity Club, senior year. And what else did I do? Oh, and I was also um, captain of um, the step team my senior year. And I did all of these things like all four years. Mm -hmm. I was a part of a club called DECA. I did have okay. leadership positions in that. And then I played basketball three years of high school. I, I got to varsity basketball. And on my thing, I just said like starting small forward as my position. And then um, over the summer, I, I did a five week like college ready mint like uh, a program that gets you ready for colleges. It's called SMASH. And um, I was a SMASH ambassador as a part of that. And that was really it. My list is long. Okay, so I'm here we go. <laughs> okay. Loki, I left some stuff off. Yeah, I'm gonna try to leave some did stuff we, off. Oh. So my freshman year of high school, um, I did speech and debate. And oh. then I also played basketball for the freshman team. Wasn't that good, but you know, and then sophomore year, I played soccer. Sophomore and my junior year, I played soccer for JV. That was my passion at the time. Um, I was also the student co uh, class treasurer for my junior class. And then I started my own club my junior year of high school. It was called Brothers United, just gathering men across the school. Cute. Yeah, cute opportunity. Like, <laughs> was it like black men or just like any men? Many men. Any men? Oh. <laughs> my senior year, I was Duco president mm -hmm. for the entire school. And then I was also a UNICEF club president. And then I was also Rotary Club president. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> with Rotary Club, we built our own park for all inclusive people. So people with oh, wow. disabilities <laughs> and needs, we built that my senior year. Okay. <laughs> Lots to <of> leave behind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, um, my freshman year, I did field hockey. And then my sophomore and junior year, I did track and fields. And I was a co-captain in my junior year. And my awesome extracurriculars were, I was in student council, I was on the executive board my junior and senior year. I did student to student, which is like a military um, club for military students and new student transitioning to the school and just being a mentor. I was secretary and treasurer, my, well, secretary my first year, and then treasurer my second year. And then also I was in the drama club. I was a student director, and also I was a treasurer as well. So and that was my junior year. Okay, I did track. I was a long distance captain. I did National Honor Society. I was a treasurer. 
I did student government. I did, what did I do? I was in Women of Tomorrow. Um, this is when you answer See, crickets. It's a lot. Like I forgot about <laughs> NHS. Okay. I did. Yeah, oh, I did I NHS. About when NHS. she said NHS, I was like, oh, oh we didn't do anything in our NH NHS program. We didn't do anything. Either. But I, I was a member. Just, I wasn't part of NHS. She was a right. part of NHS. I had that school though. So, so like, it's, it's a lot, lot to remember. Okay, just, I don't know what I did. We did a lot. <laughs> we were active. Right. <laughs> Leave it at that. Exactly. What do you mean you got me? If yeah, you want to apply, just be active. I finished high school with 150 community service hours. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say it because I know you're proud of it. Go ahead and say it. Through ROTC, I helped them get 500 hours, community service hours in one year. Like, how many you personally do, though? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh! Well, oh, I was on all those oh, days. Oh, oh, oh. Did you, what is your community <laughs> service? I'm talking. He fired the shots on you. I didn't fire shots. You're laughing. Uh, I was, I <laughs> volunteered at the library. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I think there you go. Go ahead, read it off. Oh, I was in marching band. I did uh, color guard. I think that's it. I wasn't a marshal. Oh. oh, I did cross country too. That was a bad time of my life. So yeah. Okay. I recommend that you get as involved as possible, just like in different, you know, activities. Also try to get like leadership positions. So, you know, you can show your leadership skills, but also make sure like the activities that you're getting involved in, you actually care about them. And like the activities that you're, you have a leadership role in, you actually want to lead, like don't join anything just to join. Cause then it's, I mean, you're not going to enjoy it. Yeah. Because a lot of the colleges are looking more at how you are outside of school rather than how you are in school with your grades and all of that stuff. I agree. Yeah. Do something that you feel like you're able to talk about. So I feel like you can just join anything, but honestly, what did you do within that program? <laughs> I'm sorry, because <laughs> I think about NHS, like, I didn't do shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, money. like, the thing, I okay, like there's a lot of, money. okay. Mm. <laughs> you didn't go to the meetings? Hey. All right, so, I was just going to say, my advice is to do something outside of school. Um, what I did was during the summer, which I think can show more dedication than um, something within school, because that's taking time away from from a uh, time that you're supposed to be free, I guess, or not have any responsibilities. No, did e everyone volunteered, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, so volunteer. Do something nice for your community. Okay, I'm gonna make it a second clip. <laughs> Finally. What's the front door? Or. What did he just call me? I said or. or. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. Oh, okay, so on your application, did you fill out the optional? stuff and do we really think it was optional so the optional resume and the optional essays I think it's not optional because I feel like it shows your interest in the school I did the optional resume and it probably was terrible and then I did the optional essays I did the optional resume and I also did the optional essay yeah I did all of the optional things I think it doesn't like even if your like resume is bad, like the optional resume, mm -hmm. I feel like just the fact that you're uploading and like trying it's just like and an showing extra them, thing. Yeah. yeah, I feel like they they not expecting a high school student to have like a a tier one resume. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Did they have a, a LinkedIn thing? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. I I did do both of the optional resume and. Uh, so they all did. I don't think totally did right. Um, yeah. Um, Unlike the rest of everyone else, I did not do the optional stuff. But you didn't have to though. You had a 30 ACT. Hmm. <laughs> no, <laughs> really. You I already do. proved yourself. <laughs> I do encourage everyone to at least attempt to. I yeah. did both of them. Okay. No. So, <laughs> what was that? I did. I did. Both of them. Did you apply early or regular? Like, where early. do you apply? Early. early. Decision or action? Which one is not binding? Action. action. I did early action. Early action. Early action. Early action. Regular. Regular. Okay. Okay. Question. Did y'all choose Howard for the money? No. Oh. They oh, did no. give me the most scholarship that money. I will say. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't give me. They didn't give me the least, but they also did. I think they gave me the second or third most money. Yeah, they didn't give me the least, but it could have. I had give me more. Money. Options. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will say it was like cheaper definitely, options. Definitely like second or third cheaper. most I had in financial three. aid that I got. Yeah. She, she had a, a full ride. Crazy. She had a full did, ride. Guys. They didn't give me a damn. Wait. Day. Should we say how many? Not here, but I That's crazy. Uh, okay. How many schools did y'all apply to? 
Seven. I did 10. 16. Eight. Eight. 13. 13. Dang. How many is I got to step into all of them. Eight. Yeah, I guess it's all 10. So what was y'all's like first choice? <clears throat> USC. Mm -hmm. um, okay, it was Howard, but then it became Aww. USC. But honestly, it's always been Howard. It was yours. Oh, Berkeley. UC Berkeley. Um, this sounds very nice to be see you, but Virginia Tech because they're giving me the most money. Like, what do you mean our first option? Like, what was your like top school that you really wanted to? Probably Howard. Oh yeah, this okay. Howard like HBCU was number one. So. Mm -hmm. I was between Howard and FAMU, but then once I got into Howard, I was like, I don't care. Well, I don't I understand why we act like we were like, like we were not gonna get in. Howard was my best mm -hmm. school. I feel like because, like, necessarily, I feel like being at school, you're at the top of your school, and you're, like, mm -hmm. wherever high school you're at, but then going to, like, Howard, like, everyone's at the top. So, yeah. like, that's what probably it, was a little scary. It's a lot scary. of competition. You're scared that you're right. Um, my next, what's the next thing? Essays. You have the phone, so. Yeah. <laughs> essays. So, essays. Okay, I'll start. Okay. Um. <laughs> So I started writing my essays June of my junior year. I, not like yeah. a full, not like a full yeah. thing, but Dang. just started like getting ideas out and stuff like that. I didn't write like a full draft until like August. And I mm -hmm. recommend you start on your essays early because senior year you're just going to be very stressed. Writing especially, essays. Yeah, especially if you want to do um, early action. Those deadlines are like november back to back like time flies so mm -hmm. and the thing like start off with like a basic like autobiography or just a basic essay because most of the even the scholarship and college application essays are basically the same mm -hmm. so you can just keep reusing them mm -hmm. i recommend um i used uh the college essay guy a lot when i was writing my essays he has like youtube Ooh. videos about like writing different like college um essays he has um, like shake. specific colleges, like the supplementals, like he has like examples of those. Did y'all have someone read your essays? Mm -hmm. My mom. My mom. Yeah. My mom. Parents. I had I this know. one girl that graduated the year before me. That's it. Tully, did you have someone read your um, Other than my college readiness advisor, no. For my essay, I started really late. No, I tried to start in the summertime, but then it didn't happen. And I started really late and i finished my essay the night the comment app was due mm -hmm. like two hours before Jeez. and i was crying y'all it was a bad time i bet you were crying i was stressed out i didn't know what to write about <laughs> like it was like i was so stressed out especially because my sat score i was scared that i wasn't gonna get in because of that so i was oh like God. this essay it's it's so, everything yeah I, I was like yeah i'm not gonna get in if i don't do a good essay See, that's my problem. I definitely do. I, I had a test optional, and I definitely thought my essay was like all right. Mm -hmm. But looking at other people's essay, their essay was really good, <laughs> really good. So I think my essay was just. Oh my god! I, I want to. Sh Anyways, um. No, what you gonna say? I was Seriously. gonna say I'm gonna show you guys my essay, but. Um, oh, he wants to read. Aww. What was your essay about? I didn't, about? I didn't have. Um, <laughs> I did the essay about like what taught you le like le life lessons, and I talked about my hair. <laughs> you got a perm? Mm-mm. Yeah, from like, per, per, Yeah. Me too. Like, I was, like, straightening my hair, like, every other day. Oh. oh I was doing every two weeks. Every mm -hmm. other day. Damn. Damn. That shit must have been damaged. Look at that, though. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. What was it? Okay, so Ryan, what was your essay about? <laughs> so, my, my plan coming into the application was my grades weren't the best, so I was going to use my essay to explain why my grades weren't the best. Okay. So, like, earlier on, I had, like, a 2.9, 3.0. Mm -hmm. And then later on in my high school career, I had like a 3.7. Um, so I was saying at the beginning of my high school career, but something about like what a black man is supposed to be. And then oh, later on, what? I said I joined this program and changed my outlook or whatever. Oh, I remember. Oh, and then that's I said good. that's and like going forward, I'm gonna have my grades up. So mm -hmm. that's why I said it was good. I like that. I'll say for mine, uh, I wrote about how I had a speech delay when I was younger. So like I talked about like that. I think the question was a hardship or something like that. Mm -hmm. so I talked about that. Yeah. yeah, so I talked about that. I was gonna do that. From like, was, like when I was like two to seven. Talked about that and like how I've overcome that. And you wouldn't really assume now that I've had a speech delay. Yeah. I could not do that, that essay. Yeah. I wrote about, so basically in high school, like in the library, oh in the mornings, um, that's where like me and all my friends would like meet up. 
and one of my friends, she would do like this like Snapchat question of the day thing. And so basically I used like the questions she would ask because they'd be like opinionated <coughs> questions. Mm -hmm. So basically I opened with like, you know, setting the scene, whatever in the library. But I used like the questions she would ask um, like on the varying days to show like different aspects of my personality because the mm -hmm. questions were like That's opinionated. Cool. So then I tried to show like different parts of my identity through that. I think I've probably talked about my identity or just growing up and talk about how like what I want to do in my career I don't honestly I don't remember I wrote too many essays mm. too many save your essays guys put them in a drive oh, you yeah. didn't save yours no I put, I, I put all my seen. college shit still See, some in a drive some of like, them I are like some of them are gone I I got hacked no, oh, yeah. <laughs> I got hacked so <laughs> put them in a drive that's guys. another story when Howard yeah. got hacked she got hacked yeah. yeah my essay was about my hair yeah, oh, yeah. um I connected it to how I've grown through, I think I started at middle school, probably elementary school to like now, or my senior year of high school. That's what I did. Um, oh, next topic is scholarships. I don't know, do you have anything to say? Apply to them. Apply early. Um, early. Even though it's the worst early. thing. I don't hated do it, I procrastinated do small ones. it. It was bad, didn't really apply to any, I regret it. Um, don't do bold dot org. <laughs> do not do bold. Do no. not do bold dot org. Oh, do Thurgood Marshall College Fund, uh, TMCF, and UNCF. That's where I got my scholarships, mm -hmm. and like the local ones, like the local ones for like mm -hmm. black people. Do those. <laughs> yeah. Like use your uh, high school resources. A lot, mm -hmm. a lot of your advisors will have something in mind. Sites, even College Board has scholarships on there too. Yeah. So I just, I'd advise y'all to use that. Mm. Yeah, definitely look at like restaurants or like just big chain companies. They definitely have scholarships out. And mm -hmm. I, based on your merit, you definitely get like a Huff's um, scholarship here at Howard. Oh yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, but a merit, that G, merit. That, that GPA to maintain the Huff's though. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what is it? So, it depends on your scholarship. You don't know yeah. One of them is like that you have to maintain. One of them is like 3.5. It's like I mean, minimum 3.0. 3. 3. 3. 3. Minimum 3.0. 3. Oh, if you get a Huff scholarship yeah. from the school, minimum 3.0 you have to keep. Well, I knew it would be What does it stand yeah, for? Yeah, it is. Howard, Howard University the more money you get, the freshman higher, scholarship. The, oh, yeah. Like GPA you have to maintain. Wow. Yeah, because I have to keep a 3.5 GPA. Same. Same. Keep applying to outside scholarships. You're mm -hmm. definitely going to get more rejections then, than acceptances. I didn't get my first like outside scholar scholarship acceptance Ooh. until <laughs> I didn't get I don't think I got mine like, until like May. Please. Yeah, okay. I didn't get mine until May. Then which I applied He's a target to, like, scholar. Yeah, I am a target Her. scholar. I got two of them Burger that I applied to during my <laughs> senior year. I got it like midway through this year. Like mm -hmm. October when I, I already started here, they're like, Oh you got the scholarship. That's what happened with the target one. I got that target mm -hmm. one like like October. I was like, I forgot I even applied for the shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um and my biggest tip would be like just again as as you were talking about save your essays because so many of the scholarships will just reuse questions or you could take certain parts of your essays. Don't just apply to those like twenty five thousand dollar scholarships. Apply to those small ones too because those they add up, add up. <laughs> and those have a smaller application pool. Mm -hmm. No, those <laughs> add up. Right. Like on your Bison web, it will tell you like the outside mm -hmm. awards yeah. that you yeah. got and the amount I got. Like I got. 11k plus i was like really and it's like small fee like technology fee like something just it's gonna stupid. cover something just stupid i don't even just... use the computer oh the technology the wi-fi don't work <laughs> <laughs> when it went off yesterday was that yesterday yeah, yeah. i was scared no wi-fi I, 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 no, I, I got a call from yeah, germany yesterday were... morning huh so i was like i told her the last topic <laughs> that we're gonna talk about is one piece of advice you would give to a Senior in high school, or one thing you wish you knew as a senior in high school, or both, whatever. Anybody want to go to first? Because you got to think about it. One thing I would say is don't just apply to like reach schools. <laughs> Have at least two reach schools, two target, and two that like you definitely know that you can get into. Mm -hmm. So that you have options. Apply anywhere and everywhere you want. It doesn't matter. Um, you're going to be the one doing the applications. When I say apply to like 30 schools, I mean that's more stress for you. But if you want to, do it. Um, but Find also, waivers. huh? Find application waivers. Yeah, application yeah, waivers. Common I didn't get no waivers. And um, another piece of advice, I guess this is, a, this is a little late for a senior, 
So maybe like a sophomore, junior, but build mm -hmm. relationships with your teachers. Like at least one, maybe one or two, like a relationship with a teacher, then like maybe a relationship with like a club advisor or someone mm -hmm. who you can ask for your recommendation. Cause like when you don't really <clears throat> have strong relationships with like any of your teachers, mm -hmm. it can kind of be awkward asking someone for a recommendation who really doesn't know you. Most of the time they'll say yes if you're like a good student, but like then you'll get a generic recommendation and you really want your recommendations to like speak to you as like a person. Mm -hmm. So just start building relationships with like teachers and uh, and different people like that. Find someone, someone older possibly, that can advise you through this entire process because they do have the experience going through it. So having someone to ask questions to, um, someone to look over your stuff, that's very helpful and kind of makes your life a little easier than just trying to figure everything out by yourself. Just having an older person to actually advise you through the process will, you know, ease the process for you. Um, I would say do the optional stuff, that's it. Mm -hmm. um, I would say definitely try to fight that imposter syndrome. I feel like, mm -hmm. I feel like definitely like being like a first generation student, I feel like I wasn't able to, I was gonna get into these certain things, even though necessarily, I think I did have the criteria for those things, but I felt like, oh, I'm probably not gonna get into here, here. Apply to those schools, apply to the schools that you wanna go to. Another um, piece of advice I would say, during application season, like find something that could be somewhat of like a stress reliever for you, mm -hmm. cause you're gonna be very stressed. So like very stressed, like very stressed. Mm -hmm. At least I was. <laughs> it's the truth, they need to be prepared. One thing I do that I am glad that I did in high school was I took all of my core classes my first three years so that my senior year, it was kind of just like, What's those Extra. extracurricular classes? Mm -hmm. So during the like collectives, yeah, so like during the application process, it wasn't like I was worrying about like taking a, a heavy test or anything. I had time. Yeah, I wish someone told me to just start early because I'm a procrast or I was a procrastinator, and I used to do everything at the last minute. She reformed. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, but. That's a big thing because I was so stressed out because it was just bad time. Um, and another thing I wish I knew or someone told me was to apply to more scholarships. Like I knew that, but no one was on me about it. So I wouldn't do it. And I really regret that because like yeah. Gigi said, I think you said like it's easier for a high senior school, in high yeah. school to get. Yeah. If you do end up starting late, which I don't recommend, but <laughs> there are still a couple you can find a little later on but start early yeah um, a part of those two this is really random but another part of the application that might that i feel like helped me out was um like your family i had two cousins who went to howard just oh. make sure oh, okay you know wow. those people okay. so. oh, i have another advice i feel like don't doubt yourself i feel like if you're la if you feel like you're lacking in one part of your like application just try to bring up another part like i know people with three point the guy here with 3.0s Mm -hmm. and stuff like that so no two test scores nine. two point two point no test scores oh wow like point zero. you know someone with two point zero? no uh, like, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't don't discourage yourself from applying thank you guys for watching our video make sure you like this video comment on this video and subscribe <laughs> Oh my god, thank you so much for watching this video. Video, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. And hit the bell for notifications. Hey, you. You know. Bye. Okay.